Last time we did the challenge of shooting on a 63 point rating and it worked. So today we've moved down to a 50, the exact same build basically except a 53 point rating, even the same mid range at 72. Now Mike Wang said himself that the badges are just the icing on the cake, the attributes are the most important. So today, we're really gonna put that to the test. I wanna do a hand cam for the next one. So if y'all wanna see me shoot with a 43 point rating and hand cam, get this video to 3000 likes. And without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Every single time showing 100% proof. We're on the two way diamond interior finisher with a 72 mid range and a 53 pointer. Absolutely no cuts right here. You see the guys on the court we're about to play and it says not enough data to games required. I have not even played on this build yet. You guys know how it goes with the new stats. You get one for each and every single place that you play at, new builds, things like that. So. I don't know why after one game it lets you see the stats but it says not enough data required two games anyway it doesn't matter they're going to miss ali has the ball and he's gonna do his thing we're doing the same exact method as last time i got a post score eventually they're going to double team and hopefully i can get some shots up so today we're gonna do zero cuts and i mean actually zero cuts so we're going to get four points right here on the board. Ali is throwing this man off him. You see, the guy in the corner is still not moving. Six to zero, nothing has happened. He's letting his teammate actually die out there, but he's finally going to pick up. Nope, no, he's not, okay? He's not going, and hold on, I'm wide open. Green, literally, on God, first shot with a 53 point rating. Now, of course, you guys already know when stuff like this happens, there was probably like 10, 15 comments on the last video saying, Zen, Zen, oh my God, he's got a Zen. First of all, for the Zen to actually work this year, most of the actually good Zens, if you guys do your research, you have to have a meter on, the arrow meter, things like that that people are using and it's going to fill up for you. That's why I said I will do a hand cam in the next one. Look, I'm wide open again. Two for two from three. If y'all want to see actual hand cam proof, I got you as well. Now, my boy has playmaking takeover. All right, we are two for two from three, and I want to shoot that thing. You know what I'm saying? Also, keep in mind, though, I have no hot spots. I just made this build, but I'm wide open. Three, four, three. Now, of course, that one was with playmaking takeover, but no hot spots we have neutral zones i just made the build no lethals and ah, i wanted to shoot it bro if i could have green that 36 percent in the corner i would have been really happy i'm not gonna lie but so far it's looking like you can shoot with a 53 point i try to do a running backwards fade and i'm not timing that one either it's not looking good now we're three for five from three but on the wide open shots we are three for three from three with a 53 point rating. Now in 2K22, we made it all the way down to a 32, like the absolute basically lowest rating you could possibly have in the game. And we were still able to shoot, you know, a good 50, 60%. So we're gonna keep working our way down as you know, of course, if you guys actually enjoy this and drop a like, I'm gonna just gonna go by the interest, you know what I'm saying? But you guys really love the last video. So I'm guessing you're gonna, you're gonna go crazy. Three for five on this game. And when I said no cuts, by the way, I mean no cuts, and I mean absolutely no cuts. So that was the very first game ever on this build. You guys see, look, my badge is right there at silver. You know, when you uh, rebirth a build, you get them on silver and they're not at actual zero. This is the second game on this build. Look, now we're shooting 60% from three. You guys just seen me go three for five, that's 60%. Like I said, I don't know why it says you need to play two games required and then it gives you your stats after the first game. It's kind of weird, but these guys, they are going to do their thing for a minute, and we're going to see two games in a row. Can you shoot with a 53-pointer? Now, going down to 45, 40, I don't know how it's going to go. You guys know I, I both times now I've went with a 72 mid-range, and that's going to give us silver open looks, you know, be able to get some sort of jump shot, things like that. But Mike Wang said that the badges play a role. They're just like the icing on the cake. And I'm not really believing that at the moment because I've got other builds as well, you know, like my 94 three-point guard, and I wasn't able to shoot very good until I got my badges. Once I started getting all my badges close to max and then now maxed out, I mean, I was spraying that thing. Now, right there, I finally had a shot, but I did not take it. We are up six to zero in this game. Off the post spin, wide open, and now we are literally 
four for four on wide open catch and shoots unless you want to count that running backwards fade and sharp shooting takeover that i maybe could hit i don't know if you're even able to green that with a 53 pointer even with sharp shooting takeover I don't know okay but this game is definitely interesting because as you all know unless you've you know not been seeing the information about the game it's one of the only 2ks ever like 2k21 and i believe 2k19 that has a pure green window now what that means is if you're able to time it you're able to green it so even if you have a 53 point rating as you guys see I probably have a much smaller window. Let's say that every jump shot is 600 milliseconds, right? If you guys haven't looked at any jump shot info, they're usually around 500 milliseconds, 600, something like that. And by the way, he just double dribbled. I swear he just double dribbled. Usually you probably have like a 30, 40 millisecond window. So if you time it in between like 520 and 560 milliseconds, then you'll probably green it, right? This build with a 53 pointer, probably like a 20, 30 millisecond window at the very highest. You see what I'm saying? So as you go down, it gets lower and lower. But usually even with that, you hit kind of this RNG random number generator is what it's called type of area where even if you perfectly time the shots, the game still makes you miss. And we're gonna see, you know, as we keep going further down, if that's real on this game. But at the moment, I'm not really seeing that. Now these guys are kind of hooping, bro. Nine to nine, they're doing their thing. They're doing freaking, you know, post spin drop step contact dunks my boy ali is getting put in a blender right now we're almost getting the steal right there i don't know what type of pass that was but my guy did not react to it three two and he hits the mid-range so you guys see like these dudes are not bad and of course like i always say on these videos anyway it doesn't really matter like it doesn't matter how good the other team is to test out shooting you know what i'm saying we're basically trying to test wide open shots but, you know, you see these guys are obviously decent at the game. They got a little thing going for them. Now, 13 to 9 right here. We're finally going to get a stop by me. And, yeah, if y'all didn't see, by the way, in the last video, why I went, like, 99 steal, 99 perimeter defense. And please go in the comments and tell someone if they comment on this because I forgot to say in the beginning. These are test dummy builds, okay? I did that. And hold on. Oh, man, ah, make them jump. I did that so that you can start out at a high rating. So that's why we have like a 76 perimeter and stuff like that because I have a 99 perimeter. The higher you have, the higher you start out at. It's a test dummy build. Please do not make this build. But also with the test, we're kind of figuring out like you could kind of cheese some of your builds if you're good at shooting. And I, I take an open right there and miss the shot not wide open of course as you guys know open is like one to six percent contested something like that and it seems like from this small batch of test you're not able to make those okay you can't even make opens on 53 but if you're wide open you actually might be able to now like i was saying you could cheese a corner spot up build if you're really good at the game and kind of make it super good all around in every other area or whatever you want to like really specialize in and still hit spot up shots wide open i'm open and we don't miss we we actually don't miss i don't think we've missed a wide open shot yet we have not missed a wide open shot absolutely no cuts literally it's impossible unless i'm the god of photoshop <laughs> it's impossible bro you guys are seeing real footage first two games on the build and of course i'm not gonna do that every time but it just so happened that the first two games was it that's all i had to do i played two games and i played some more just so i could you know test some things out but i already had the gameplay recorded after two games i mean watch this right here he's gonna pick up nope not gonna pick up let his man die we have 18 points guys now remember if you want to see a hand cam with me with a 43 point rating just drop a like <laughs> just like that we didn't miss we we literally did not miss if it's not chopping it's not hard to shoot on 2k24 if it's not chopping it's not hard to shoot please fix the chop guys click this video right here to see me versus the number one ranked nba 2k24 player literally not click babe not kidding click on it you'll see number one ranked nba 2k24 player series a hundred dollars on the line best of three i think it's a really good video click it man tap it whatever you gotta do it's your boy bashful you've been plugged in i'm about to be out of here so click it and i'm out